Today's tutorial will be on development economics. We will continue our discussion with neoclassical theory of growth. To be specific, we were concentrating or restricting ourselves or in our last tutorial, we talked about solo model. We have already completed our discussion with regard to the effect of increase in savings rate. Savings rate. And we have seen how the steady state equilibrium changes, whether it is long run or it only get restricted to short run, what is the impact on the growth rate itself. Now in today's tutorial, we will see the same thing, how the economy changes or what are the changes that occurs if we increase or make changes in the population growth rate. So this is our target for today. So let us begin. Now you can see a two panel diagram. Okay. Uh, a diagram you can see two with two axes. Now I'm not going into details of that particular diagram now. First, I'll start with a small introduction. So let me begin. Okay. Now for developing countries and say consider the case of our country, India, it is important to discuss the effects of increase in population growth rate on the steady state or on the steady levels of capital per head that is small k, output per head that is small y and also and also on the steady state rate of aggregate output okay so now let us move on to the graphical representation so in this particular figure, I'll, we will, I'll show you the effect of increase in population growth. Okay. Now, first we will make the initial population line. Okay. And it is indicated by this. So, let me draw it. Okay. So, this is my initial population line. So, this is N plus D K. Okay. Now, with this line, if this is the initial, let me mark the point. So, if this is T, okay, and this is K, this is capital per head, one star. I'll extend this to Y, F, K, the production function, output per worker. So, this give me Y, one star, okay. And similarly, I'll use another ink and I'll draw another. Okay, so let me write first an increase in population growth will actually cause upward shift in N plus DK line. So let us do this here in the figure. So what, what we will do, we will increase the population growth rate. Earlier it is N. So we will increase it to N dash. So this was the initial line. So we get the new line as this. So let us mark it on the graph also. So it's something like this. So I will make it draw it dotted. So it becomes easier. Okay, so this is what is this? This is our n dash plus d into k. Okay, d is the depreciation. Okay, now so it intersects the savings function here. So I'll mark this as t dash. I'll extend this. So I get k. 2 star 
extend this touch the output function the production function and this will give me y2 dash star okay so this new curve cuts the given savings curve that is sy at t dash at which we can see that the capital per head that we have measured on the x axis has decreased from k1 star to k2 star and the output per head has actually increased or oh, sorry it has this is also fallen so it has actually decreased from y1 star to y2 star okay so we need an explanation to back our graphical the changes that has been done graphically so what is the explain the explanation goes like this due to high or let me write it higher growth rate of population a given stock of capital is actually spread so if you have more people and the same thing say you have some food okay this is the amount of food and this has to be distributed between two people so you can get divided perfectly into two halves and can distribute now if this same amount of food is to be distributed among 200 people that means each one will get a smaller portion of the food very small compared to this situation so this given stock of capital is now has to be spread thinly this is the word over labor force and this actually results in lower capital per head that means capital labor ratio falls okay now decrease in capital per head or capital labor ratio causes decline in per capita output which has been marked on the y axis or the vertical axis now this what we see is an important result of neoclassical growth theory which shows that population growth in developing countries as one example of developing countries are country so let me write population growth in countries like India impedes growth in per capita income and because of this or therefore it actually multiplies our efforts to raise the living standard of the people one more interesting thing that you can note down here is that this figure also shows us that there is a higher growth rate of population has actually raised the steady state growth rate okay so the steady state growth rate has actually risen to n dash isn't it 
which is equal to the new growth rate of population however what you can notice that this higher steady state growth rate is not desirable as a ma matter of fact what we can say is a higher steady state growth means that to maintain a certain given capital labor ratio and per capita income of the economy the economy has to actually save and invest more what does imply it actually implies that a higher rate of population acts as an obstacle to raise per capita income and therefore living standard of the people so in developing countries if at all you want to achieve a higher living standard of people they should make efforts so it can be a policy prescription also to control the population growth rate so this that's all you need to know with regard to the increase in or the effects of increase in population growth rate with regard to the solo model now in our upcoming tutorial we will discuss more theories or more modern concepts related to economic growth.